We had a good run, us and the moon. Now grab your special edition NASA space tissues, because today we're embarking on a tale of orbital companionship, childhood sweethearts, and heartache. Now you can say we came from the same part of town. A long time ago, the Mars-sized object Thea collided with the Earth, and the moon was formed out of the debris from the collision. We grew up together, counting from the very beginning. This relationship has lasted for 4.5 billion years. We've had some good times, some bad times, gravitationally linked arm in arm inside our solar family sedan traversing the galaxy. But now, tragedy. The moon, our moon, is moving on to brighter horizons. We used to be much closer when we were younger, and time seemed to fly by much faster. In fact, 620 million years ago, a day was only 21 hours long. Now, they've dragged out to 24 hours, and they're just getting longer, and the moon is already at an average distance of 384,400 kilometers. It almost feels too far away. And if we think back far enough to when we were kids, there was a time when a day was just two to three hours long, and the moon was much closer. It seemed like we did everything together back then. But just like people, massive hunks of rock and materials flying through space change, and the relationships change as well. Our therapist told us it wasn't a good idea to get caught up on minutia, but we've already done some sciencing using the retroreflector experiments placed by Apollo astronauts, and it looks as though the moon has always had one foot out the door. Today, it's drifting away at one to two centimeters per year. Such heartache. We just thought it seemed like the days were longer, but it's not just an emotional effect of seeing our longtime friend leaving us. There's a real physical change happening. Our days are getting one five hundredth of a second longer every century. I can't help but blame myself. If only we knew why. Did the moon find someone new, someone more attractive? Was it that trawl of Venus, the hottest planet in the whole solar system? It's really just a natural progression. It's nature, it's gravity, and tidal forces. And no, that's not a metaphor. The Earth and the Moon pull at each other with their gravity. Their shapes get distorted, and the pull as tidal force creates a bulge. The Earth has a bulge facing towards the Moon, and the Moon has a more significant bulge towards the Earth. These bulges act like handles for gravity, which slows down the rotation. The process allowed the Earth's gravity to slow the Moon to a stop billions of years ago. The moon is still working on the Earth to change its ways, but it will be a long time before we become tidally locked to the moon. The slowing rotation means energy is lost by the Earth. This energy is transferred to the moon, which is speeding up. And as we've talked about in previous episodes, the faster something orbits, the further and further it becomes from the object it's orbiting. So will this ever end? We're so attached. It seems like it'll take forever to figure out whose stuff belongs to who and who gets the dog. Well, fear not there's an end in sight. 50 billion years from now, 45 billion years after the sun has grown weary of our shenanigans and become a red giant, when the days have slowed to be more than a thousand hours long, the moon will consider itself all moved into its brand new apartment ready to start its new life. What about the neighbors down the street? How are other orbital relationships faring? I know there's a lot of polymoonamory taking place out there in the solar system. Well, we're not the only ones with moons tidally locked. There's Phobos and Deimos to Mars, and many of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn are. And Pluto and Charon are even tidally locked to each other, forever. Now that's real commitment. So in the end, the lesson here is people and planets change. The moon just needs its space, but it still wants to be friends. So what do you think? If you're writing a space opera about the Earth and the moon breakup, what was it that finally came between them? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. We couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like David Patillo and many others who join us to help create and deliver great space and astronomy content. I'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes as well as extras and behind the scenes content. Click here and head on over to Patreon. Tragedy. And now, tragedy. All right. All right. Tragedy. Okay. More fun. Tragedy is fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fun of okay. tragedy.
Oh, it's gonna be some people walking here in a second. Such heartache. Tragedy. Such heartache.